uh, I mean, the torturous different, you know, rigs and harnesses and situations we put them into. Uh, uh, I would have uh, found it very, very hard achieving those sequences with, with any other actor. I think uh, he really uh, rose to the challenge incredibly well. I had, I'd warned him how difficult it was going to be, and he just took that and ran with it. And he was in every, every shot. I mean, I think there's one shot where we used the stunt guy. Uh, everything else, Joe insisted on doing himself. Uh, the the athleticism that required the acrobatic skill uh, is extraordinary. Much more, I think, than you even realize watching it because he makes it look effortless. He really does. Was there any um, you know, scene in particular, Chris, that you were so jazzed about shooting? I think some of those scenes uh, that, that Joe was involved with, uh, particularly the, the fight scene where gravity is distorting and, and uh, changing, uh, it was really amazing to be able to just photograph something in camera, process the film, watch it the next day in dailies, and all of us sit there in dailies and, and go, wow, we've just never seen anything like that before. That was that was really incredible, and wouldn't have been possible without without Joe's hard work. And then you know, of course, there's the the stunt stuff, but the skiing and you know what you put, you know, you really have to not not just having the the actors trust you, you got to really trust them too. Yeah, I mean, there's a, you know the trust uh, works both ways, uh, and uh, it was a really terrific group of people, and they were prepared to do anything really, uh, and really go to the mat for this one, and, and that is extraordinarily valuable to me as a director. It's a it's pretty amazing testament to these talented people that, that we were able to do so many different things uh, with, frankly, such ease. I mean, I don't know if it was easy for them, but they certainly made it look easy. Yeah, they sure did. Um, it must be also refreshing for you as a director. Yeah, I'm sure you know every single movie you probably want to tell your cast, don't talk about it. You know, it's secretive. I want people to go in and not know anything. And for this, it, I mean, it really works. But don't you wish you could just do that for every single movie? Well, I sort of do do that for every single movie that I do. Uh, in fact, really, I, I think all it amounts to is, is information technology over the last few years has just uh, become more and more prevalent. And so people expect access to information. They expect to know about things before they've even happened, really. Uh, and in the filmmaking process, which is an inherently slow and laborious process, I mean, it takes years to make a film, uh, it simply isn't possible to show people the film or tell them exactly what the film is before you've made it. Uh, and so we try to preserve in a more old-fashioned way. We just try to create a private space, not a secret space, but a private space in which to finish making the film. And then we, we give it to the audience and say, make of it what you will, you know? Yeah, this is going to have, there's going to be great discussions when people come out of the theaters. But what do you as a director, you know, after you've done it all and finished, what do you want people to come out of the audience getting from it? I really want people to be entertained and invigorated by the movie. I want them to be able to just sit back and relax and enjoy the film. And then hopefully they'll find there are certain things or ideas about it that afterwards they might, might rattle around their brains, you know, whatever. But really what I want is for people to enjoy it as an entertainment, as a grand scale action film, as a love story, as, as all of those things. Well, I can't wait to see how you're going to top this one because, my God, you did a great job on this. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice talking to much. you. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you. Thanks.